Have you guys ever seen a tube with a tube? I mean, what even is this thing? It's like a soft, flexible hose. Looks like something from maybe a fish tank, a fish tank airline. And then this thing. I mean, what is this? It's like a soft, squishy silicone. It feels a lot like a... So I was photographing this tube for my eBay store the other day, and I thought, well, a tube with a tube. That's got to be a thing, right? After a bunch of searching, uh, Google's like, yeah, I got nothing. So once again, another rare item. I thought it's a good opportunity for me to share this with you guys and let you guys check it out before it's gone. So the box says here that it's a Westinghouse Air Arm Electronic Tube. And I got to stop here and say, if you guys don't know about Westinghouse, pause the video like right now and go watch a video on Westinghouse. It's that important. Seriously, pause the video and go watch something on George Westinghouse. If not for George Westinghouse, man, our modern world would be quite a bit different than it is. All right, are you good? All right, let's get to it again. We'll pull this item out of its box here. I mean, take a look at this packaging. This was the way it came originally, or at least the way I got it. Uh, and I saw this card inside this box. Take a look at this. I don't know what this card is. I don't know if it goes with this tube. It says 1963, and then I see 1965. When it was packed, yeah, I don't know if this went with it. But you know what? It was with the tube the way I found it. So with the tube, it will go back in the box. And we'll get back to our tube here. So the first thing we see are these couple uh, tags that are on it. And this first label says Westinghouse Air Arm Electronic Tube. And from the best I can tell is Air Arm was a division of Westinghouse that was used to produce their military applications. So anything that was used for military, it kind of fell under their air arm division. And then the second label was just a repeating part number that I cannot find anywhere. Usually I can find a part based off the part number. In this case, nothing. And then something else to add to the mystery of this tube. I mean, look at this plug. I've seen a lot of CRT plugs, but this one is really unique in that it's got two layers of pins. It starts here at pin number one. And then it goes around in a repeating pattern, sequentially counting up uh, clockwise all the way around until it gets to number 15. And then it jumps to the inner ring, starts at 16, and then continues on repeating in a clockwise fashion until it gets to 25. And then we've got this center, maybe a calibrator, potentiometer. Again, I don't know. <laughs> We've got this silicon outside, maybe like a dust ring. It's kind of deteriorated, but that's probably a dust seal. And then something else to add to the mystery of this tube, these Altor holes here. I'm used to seeing one of these on a CRT. In this case, there's three of them. So that tells me this may have been used for something other than a CRT. Perhaps it's a storage tube, which was really just early computer memory or possibly for radar applications. I don't know. And I really don't know what this is. I mean, what is this silicone thing? It's got a couple little splits in it, but this hose and this connector, what is the reason for this thing? I am all out of guesses. If you guys have any guesses, be sure and drop them in the comments below. Better yet, if you actually know what this is, leave that in the comments because I would really like to know what that hose is for and what this tube, uh, what its original purpose was. Well, for now, it's going to go back in its box and get ready to go to its new home. I'll be sure and put some foam around the top here before it ships out. But this was the Westinghouse Air Arm Electronic Tube. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. You guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.